For this chemical reaction, calculate the volume of hydrogen gas formed at 23 degrees Celsius in one atmosphere if 3.12 grams of aluminum are treated with an excess of sodium hydroxide. So this is a type of reaction that occurs with some drain cleaners. You have sodium hydroxide solution and aluminum powder that's poured into a clogged drain and the heat generated in the reaction helps melt away obstructions like grease. And the hydrogen gas released stirs up the solids clogged in the drain. And so we know that hydrogen gas, H2 gas, at or near normal environmental conditions, so around a, a pressure of one atmosphere and temperatures are around room temperature, exists as a pure gas. It's not a vapor. So we can treat this H2 gas here as an ideal gas, which is a gas that follows the ideal gas law. So what we need to do is we need to use the ideal gas law to calculate the volume of this H2 gas produced if 3.12 grams of aluminum are consumed in this reaction. So solving the ideal gas law for volume, what we need is the temperature that this gas body is at, which is given to us, 23 degrees Celsius, the pressure that this gas body is at, which is also given to us, R is a constant, so we just need N, the number of moles of H2 molecules in the gas body. To get N, we need to use stoichiometry. How many moles of H2 are produced from 3.12 grams of aluminum, okay? So this equation is already balanced. If we're starting with 3.12 grams of aluminum, let's convert this to moles. Molar mass of aluminum is 26.982. So there's 26.982 grams of aluminum for every one mole of aluminum. Now, using stoichiometric equivalencies, for every two moles of aluminum consumed, three moles of H2 are produced. So there we go. Now we're in moles of H2. Multiplying all this out. Point one seven three four moles of H2 gas are produced. Okay, so N is 0.1734. For the universal gas constant R, we'll use the 0.082057, which has units liters atmosphere per mole Kelvin. Okay, so the pressure then we'll just leave as one atmosphere. The temperature we need to convert to Kelvin, 23 plus 273 is 296. And there we go. So V is equal to NRT over P. Okay. And we're left with the volume in liters. 4.21 liters of H2 gas are produced. 